Hi there, welcome to this build blog of a Model L. Now a Model L is a Peter Fisher design that I'm building from a great set of plans you can download off the Outer Zone website. And Peter Fisher designed this in 1973. It was never produced as a kit, only sold as a, as a plan. But as I said, now you can get it for free off Outer Zone. Now, I really have been cracking on with this and I, I'm quite excited at getting the covering. Uh, well, it's not finished, but we're getting there. In the last video, I'd got the wings done and I was talking about possibly uh, doing what colours I was going to use and getting on with the fuselage. Well, as you can see, I've been cracking on with the fuselage. There's still quite a lot to be done, but I thought a quick update. Where's the harm in that? Now, I said about the covering technique when I was doing the wings in the last video. Now, if you want to see how I do that, uh, have a look in the description below and there'll be a video showing the basic kind of covering technique that I'm using. And what I'm doing is I'm putting laminating film, which is heat shrink and it has its own glue, and I'm putting that over the balsa structure. I'm then covering the laminating film with this lovely uh, silk, it's pure silk, which I've dyed with uh, this russet red and teal. And I've just realized my uh, silk that I was gonna show you is just here. And you can see I've got this lovely silk in teal here and, uh, and the russet. So if I just put that back down there for a second. So um, I just, yes, I'll move, I'll take the wings off and you can see I've been thinking about some decal. We'll, we'll get back to that in a second. I was just hesitating, wondering whether to mention that just as uh, uh, now. Now, I've been getting on with the fuselage, as you can see, and I said in the last video I thought the silk would stretch around the compound curves of this turtle deck. And it has. It's gone on absolutely lovely. I'm really, really pleased. You can see I've got the turtle, uh, the uh, the teal, <laughs> the teal on the front, and I put a piece of red, which is still. I think that's probably just gone off now. I put the windows in, the acetate windows, and then I put the silk over the top of that. Now, if you've ever worked with silk you'll know it's not easy to cut it and get these straight lines. Well, I've been developing a technique uh, so that I can treat it like I do with tissue, because normally if you cut the silk, it's so soft and maneuverable, maneuverable, it, it just, you, you can't get straight lines. But I've, I've developed a technique whereby you can treat it like you would with tissue and put it on. Uh, I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but I am planning fairly soon to do a, a, a specific video just looking at that technique. Now, you can see we've got that side of the fuselage done, but on this side, we still haven't got the silk on, the red. I have cut a piece of silk here, and that is gonna go on there as soon as I finish this video, probably. Um, or at least maybe I'll wait a little bit because of that. But once we get that on, we then need to start thinking about getting the fin done. You can see there's still the laminating film there. I've also got the, uh, the tailplane to do as well. It, I mean, it's so exciting seeing this come together and seeing the colours. I still haven't put the final coat on the, uh, on the wing. And I said in the last video, or actually probably in the video where I showed the technique, you can see you get a little bit of a, a shine, possibly, through the silk from the laminating film. But that disappears as soon as you put on the second coat of the matte varnish that I'm using to, uh, to apply this and to cover it. So we don't have to worry about that. And the reason I haven't put that finished coat on is because I've been playing around with some decal. Now, there's only one picture I can find of Peter Fisher and his Model L. In fact, here, have a quick look at it. 
and you can see there's a little bit of decal on the fuselage and I'm going to add a similar decal on the uh, on the wing so I'm going to have that on the fuselage like that and I'm going to have something similar I mean it won't the white won't be there it will just be the the performance kits uh, logo which was Peter Fisher's company and the black lettering. I'm going to put that on the wing and to get back to what I said the reason I haven't given this a second coat of varnish is I want to put the water slide transfer on it's going to be water slide transfer and then varnish over the top of that just to help protect it and that will also go on the side as you saw on the um, uh, on the picture just. What I can't decide and the jury is still out is whether to put that going the other way backwards on the um, on the fuselage or maybe that's the correct way I don't know but they would be opposites I might just stick it on the one side but I've been on the computer this morning I need to be careful because this is still a little bit uh, um, the, the ink's still a little bit uh, soft now I've been doing some water slide transfers so those are my performance kits uh, yes I've done quite a lot so uh, as from that you can probably tell I'm planning on doing a few more of uh, Peter Fisher's designs and I printed out some lettering now I still need to wait for the ink to dry and then I need to waterproof those before I, uh, I actually put them on so we really are cracking on with this and it's so exciting to get to this stage where we've almost got the fuselage done and I think filling in around here with the balsa little bits of sheeting which I talked about a few videos ago really did make a difference in this covering because it's gone on to the, the rear of there, the rear of the fuselage or the turtle neck really really nicely there's no sagging or loose bits it'll be really nice and secure so as I said just a really quick update to show you how I'm getting on uh, with this covering and I think I'll probably come back and do another update as soon as I've got all of the covering finished and, uh, and I'm about to start pulling this together and um, uh, fitting it out I suppose with the electronics and the servos I think there's quite a lot to do with the uh, with the tail plane and the fin so it's not going to be finished in the next in the next few days but we can certainly see the end in sight and I don't think I said it's a 50 inch wingspan and it's going to be radio assist so there's just two channels one for the elevator and one for the rudder and it's going to be powered by a 1948 uh, compet ED competition special diesel engine. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying seeing these updates. So please come back and uh, like I say, we'll have a quick update as soon as I've got all of the covering finished and we're ready to start pulling this together.